Hi, this is Kelly Worthington, and I'm doing a few training videos with Phoebe, my assistant here today, um, just to help you take you step by step for how to do a spa, what to bring with you, um, and things like that. So after this first initial video, you'll see other videos, sequential right afterwards, that take you step by step through each part. So the first part I wanted to cover is what to take with you to a spa, because the one thing I find is most new consultants are taking way too much stuff and they overwhelm people because they're just so excited to get started. So this is all I take with me to a spa, okay? You can use a beauty control bag, you can use a non-beauty control bag, um, but basically there's two bags. The first bag is the bag that I call your product bag. And this is the bag, or you can use the new spa case box, or you can find uh, you know, a, a bag made by another company, but you just wanna have a bag that all your products are in. And I'll go through what's in there in a second. The second bag is what I call your non-product bag. And this is uh, the bag that just basically has everything else for your spa in it that you're not gonna need. So, I mean that you are gonna need. Um, so let's talk about your product bag first. So Phoebe, if you can come a little closer, I'm just gonna kind of take them step by step through this. So in however you wanna do it, in whatever bag, there's a few main products that you need. Okay, so back up here. So what we're gonna have in the product bag are your basic skincare items. Now, you can do just one skincare set. If you're only gonna take one skincare set, I recommend it be the one for oily, uh, for dry to normal skin because those will have the less reactionary items in there. However, I take a few key products. So the first thing I take are both the cleansers. So the cleansing gel is for people with oily or combination skin and the cleansing lotion is for people with normal to dry skin. So that's the first thing I take. The second thing I take is the facial polish. So this has the jojoba beads in it and I put it in, which I'll go through when we get to the next video, but you can use this in with the cleanser to let them sample the facial scrub. Um, another option you can do, and it's completely up to you if you want to do it or not, but we also have our toners or tonics. So we have our tonic with PHAs, which is for dry to normal skin, and our tonic with AHAs for people with oily to combination skin. These are not required to do a spa. Sometimes I use them and sometimes I don't. Um, so this is kind of up to you. But the main thing you wanna make sure you have at your spa is your cleanser and your facial scrub. The other thing that you wanna make sure you carry with you is your microdermabrasion and your microderma peel cream. So this is the microderma peel buffering tool, and then this is the cream that goes with it. So I always carry those. And then you also wanna have your Botox in a bottle products. So what I mean by Botox in a bottle are tight, firm, and fill. So the tight, firm, and fill face cream, the tight, firm, and fill eye serum. Um, you can do the extreme or the regular, it doesn't matter, whichever you wanna use, but you wanna have those two products so that when people choose to do the microderma peel, you can put the Botox in a bottle on afterwards so that they can see the results. They're higher ticket items, they're gonna increase your spa sales, increase your profit, um, so there are things that you definitely want to take the time to invest in to have in your bag. Just know they're going to last for months. You're not using a large quantity and you're only doing it on half the face. So that one-time investment is a great way to make sure that you have all the products that are going to bring you in the highest profit. So after the instant facelift items, the one other facial item you want to have other than obviously your moisturizer is the warming green tea mask. So the warming green tea mask um, comes in the spa case. And it is another awesome spa treatment that I offer them and I actually let clients choose. So we'll go through that in a little bit. So basically your skincare items that you wanna have are both of the cleansers, you wanna have your facial polish, your microderma peel buffer and cream, the warming green tea mask. You also want to make sure you have the microderm buffer heads. So you can get eight for $8 and I carry two sets with me. That way, no matter how big or small my group is, I have a buffer for each person to use because you cannot use the same buffer on everybody. So you wanna make sure you have a whole set, if not at least two sets, but you can handle with one, but really you should have two sets so you have 16 brush heads and you always have enough no matter where you're at to let people demo those products. Um, and then the last thing um, that I keep in this facial portion is the instant manicure hand scrub and then whatever body wash I'm doing. So during the summer months and the non-Christmas or holiday months, I might use the uh, Tierra Azul foaming body wash or if there's a summer collection and there's a body wash with that, I'll put that in my bag. 
right now when we're recording this video it's october so we're going into a holiday selling season so we have our be merry berry and be merry mint body washes so i carry those with me as my body wash because whatever you're trying to sell is what you want to make sure you have there to demo so people can see and try it so those are the main things for the kitchen area that i have now the other things that you want to bring with you for your spa and i'll start with the basics and then show you a few other things that i keep so the basics, and I just kind of throw them in my bag, to be honest. They don't have to be fancy and neat. You're the one placing them out. But I have the Pedicure Cooling Foot Salve. This is a phenomenal treatment for the feet. It's one of my client's favorite foot products. So I just have the salve. I don't do the scrub or the spray at my spas, so I just carry the Pedicure Salve with me. The Detox Facial Mist is a must. It's just wonderful to refresh their face. And anybody that's been to a day spa, they know that after spa treatments are done, you should always mist and refresh the face. So I carry the Detox Facial Mist with me. Now, the Detox Facial Mist, if you needed to not do it, that's fine. But one product you absolutely have to have at your spas for your spa for the body is the Detox Bath Soak. So this is what we soak our washcloths in to do the peppermint aromatherapy. Every time I ask guests opinions, it's their favorite part of the relaxation. So um, this is $34, and the one jar usually lasts me about six months worth of doing spas, and I tend to do six to eight spas a month. So it's going to last you a very long time, so the detox bath soak is definitely one I would make sure to have on there. Now, after that... I also have whatever body products are the seasonal ones. So like I said, if it's a non-seasonal month, I might have the Tierra Azul Maracuja Body Butter or the Detox Body Cream because those are wonderful hydrators. In the summertime, I'll have whatever the summer collection is. So this is our holiday time. So I have the Be Merry Berry and the Be Merry Mint Body Creams and then the body sprays to go with them. So I'll talk in another video of how I use them at the spas, but I have those whole collections because it's a great gift set to be able to have people buy. It's a great set for them to buy for themselves to just have a holiday fragrance on them. But you wanna make sure you have some sort of body cream with you at your spa. So if you're doing a margarita spa, you can have the margarita body cream. If it's just a regular spa, the detox or the tiara. Um, and for the holidays, the holiday collection. So those are another treatment I carry in there. Now in your spa case, lip appeal. And this is an absolute must at your spas. This is one of our best selling spa treatments. The scrubs on the bottom, the balms on the top. So you always wanna demo that at your spas. The other thing that you wanna have is the hand cream that comes in your case with the hand scrub that comes in your case. So I do the hand scrub in the kitchen, the hand cream I do out here. Um, so the hand cream is the BC Spa Manicure Extreme Repair Hand Cream. So you wanna carry that with you. And then the only other thing is, yes, is the new Nutri-Rich Oil. Now, um, I'm doing this video right after this came out, um, so I've only had two spas since this came out, and I don't demo this like crazy on everybody. I just give them like a teaspoon size little dab or dollop of it, and I let them put it wherever they want. So I go over all the different benefits. They can put it in their hair, their hands, their elbows, their dry skin. This product is unbelievable. So. It is $54, but it is worth that one-time investment because it's so concentrated that you just need to give them a tiny little bit for them to sample it. I have sold five of them in two spots, and that is a $54 item. So you're making a profit of around $27 every time you sell one of these. That's $27 cash in your pocket. That's a full tank of gas. So um, I just, I love, love, love this product. So basically what I want to get across to you is the main key components you need for doing a spa are your skincare, so your cleansers, your facial scrub, your moisturizer. You can throw in the toners in there if you want as well. You want to have your microderm and your instant facelift products. So your microderm appeal buffer and cream, your Botox in a bottle or tight firm and fill. You can do extreme or regular, but you want to have one set of those. Um, and then the warming green tea mask. For your spa treatments, the absolute musts are the hand scrub, the hand cream, the Lip Appeal Scrub and Balm. Now, if you're just starting out, you have the Cucumber iPad, so you can use those at your spas while you're first getting started. I personally don't demo those at my spa, and the only reason is I've never had clients reorder the Cucumber iPads, and I've had clients reorder the Detox Bath Soak. So I choose to do the Detox Bath Soak, which is $34, over the Cucumber iPads, which are 18 and the Detox Bath Soak is a constant reorder. So um, if you're just getting started, you can use the Cucumber iPads, but I highly recommend making the investment to switch over to the Detox Bath Soak um, once you can. 
Uh, so then you have your lip appeal scrub and balm, your hand scrub, your hand cream. Definitely invest in the pedicure foot salve. It's only $22 retail, and then you'll get your discount off of it. But that foot treatment is so wonderful for people's feet. Most people are on their feet all day long when they come to a spa, their feet are aching, and this foot salve feels so amazing on their feet. Um, and then just some sort of body treatment. So you determine how many or how little you want, but I recommend at least one body moisturizer, whether it be a holiday collection, the Detox, the Tierra Azul, the Margarita, one sort of body collection, and then I really just highly recommend the Nutri Rich body oil to take with you to every spa because I will be doing that from now on. And then your two microdermabrasion buffer sets. So that's everything that I have in my product bag. I will tell you the one other thing I personally do take with me to my spas are the shine lighted lip glosses. Uh, they're $22 a piece and I sell them like crazy. And all I do is show one turning its light on and they're like, oh my gosh, and we're the only people that have it. So I pass them around, I let them see the colors, and then when they come sit down with me at the end, I have them sitting out. So I do carry those with me. So that's the product bag. Now, in your other bag, as I call it, your folder bag, there's a few things that I have. So I don't ask my hostesses to uh, bring washcloths. I just do that for them. You can go to Walmart and get sets of 20 for like four or five dollars. So um, I always call my hostess before I leave for my spa to get the final number of attendees. So if there's going to be six people there, then I bring 12 sets of washcloths. So my washcloths, the reason I do 12 is I have two for each person. One is for when we do our facial part, and the second is for when we do the peppermint aromatherapy with the detox bath soak. So I have the washcloths in there. The second thing I have in there is my calendar. So you might have a three ring binder just with each month in there with your spa calendar. You can have a personal calendar, but whatever you have to be able to write down your spas on, you want to have that calendar there with you. The next thing I have in there, catalogs, the beauty books. Now, I do not give these to people who do not order at the spa. Um, I only give these to people who attend and place an order of at least $25 or more. If they order under $25, then I tend to give them the, uh, uh, and I mean $25 is their final cost, so after tax and shipping and handling. So as long as um, they've done that, then I give them the big beauty book. Um, if not, you could give them the monthly sales brochure, but anybody who places an order and it, their total that they get charged is $25 or more, I give them a beauty book. The other thing you want to have in there, your neck wrap for your hostess. Now, some people will make them look fancy and tie ribbons around them. Um, I will just be very honest on my video that I am a very, very simple spa person. I don't do frou-frou. I don't do ribbons. I don't do bows. I don't do bags with tulle in them. I just, I am crazy psychotically busy and I just don't have the time. So, um, I don't. I present it to my hostess. I let everybody try it at the spa and the hostess ends up with it. And that's how I do my neck wrap. So feel free to have a neck wrap that you carry around all your spas and then just give your hostess one wrapped up. Um, but I'm just letting you know that I get tons of spas booked without doing that. So it's completely up to you how you want to do that. The next thing I have are samples. Now you can do, there's tons of little minis that you can buy. Don't overload yourself on those. I'd rather you buy regular retail to use at your spas. Uh, but little samples like the hand scrubs. I have the little skincare foil samples. You can get any of the Spa Express starter tools and wrap them up individually. But I just carry little gifts for them. So the gifts I give are if um, they bring a guest that was not invited to the spa, they get a gift. Uh, because the reason I do that and I want to reward that is I usually find that the guests that were not invited are the people who join and book and order the most for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it works out that way. Um, so the other thing I have in there are pens. So I have pens on the whole side. I have my business cards there. I do bring the ozone tool with me. Now I know this isn't something a brand new consultant's going to have. Uh, the ozone tool is a $180 tool that we have. Um, I only demo it for um, groups that I get together that are very much into anti-aging. I'll bring it out and I have the pamphlet that talks all about it. So I do carry that with me, but once again, that's an optional item. The other thing I have in here are folders. So these are my presentation folders that I use to close my spa, and they just have all my booking specials on one side and then my joining and ordering specials on the other. So nothing super fancy, just sheets of paper in the folder. And then the last thing I have is my spa binder. So my spa binder has, now it has money in there because I just came back from a spa. Um, but I have my hostess envelopes on one side and then I have my uh, just like a catalog and whatever the monthly sales brochure is, but I just gave mine away. Um, but then I also have my client profile sheets. 
So the client profile sheets are something you want each person to fill out at a spot because it helps you service them and help get them second and third orders down the road so that you're not just a one-stop shop for them. The other thing I have, which of course I can't get this in now, is I have these little sticky tabs. And the reason I use these is sometimes, for example, I had a client last night who asked if I, today is Sunday, she asked if I could not process her check until Wednesday. If you just shove it in with all your other money, it's very easy to forget, hey, don't put this check in. So I have these little sticky tabs that I can put on and I put the day that I'm supposed to deposit it because that way I'm gonna be like, oh, what's this? And realize, don't put that check in until that date. So I do keep these little sticky tabs in there. Now, on the other side, I have my hostess letter. So my hostess letter is their wish list, the benefits to having a spa, collecting outside orders, and all the gifts that they can earn. The last one is the joining. So the ordering, uh, the joining sheets that they fill out and the uh, state taxes. So I don't know how it is in every state if you're watching this video, but in Ohio, each county has their own tax rate. So if somebody is just ordering, you're charging on their order based on where you live. But if somebody joins, their tax rate is based on where they live. So I just have the little Ohio map with the different counties so that I know what tax rate to charge them. So that's my little hostess binder. And that goes in the presentation book. I mean, your little spa folder or whatever as well. So those are the two bags I take. Not super extravagant, not super fancy. You can put them in a suitcase or bags, however you want. But just remember, keep it simple. Take just what you need for the spa. They're not going to buy more because you put it in a fancy display. So your whole point of your spa is to go there and make them feel good and have fun and laugh and enjoy themselves. So I hope that was a helpful tutorial on what to take with you to a spa. And our next video that we will be doing here in a moment is how to set up the spa in the kitchen. Thanks so much.